See if we can continue our winning ways. Where I think went three, two, three, two, three, two, four, one on the day. Mostly with this team. So it's feeling pretty good. Still has lots of win conditions. I think the body slam spam is still just very good. So it's like body slam spam with coverage against steel basically is the team comp. And then I'm gonna play some uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected because I've been jamming on that. All right, Jam Waziski, let's go. I'm doing well, Dead Duel. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Marsh Stomp. Ooh. Marsh Stomp is um, quite good. So Marsh Stomp is good against Skarmory, even in Great League. So they are going well, Cam. I'm not going to shield the Surf. I'm going to see if I can come out of this up a shield, basically, is my plan. It's kind of what I'm thinking right now is like, all right, can I find a way? And then we're just going to get we're just going to get I can give him the shield here, but I can I'm going to do it for positive energy, basically like, OK, fine. Even at the shield, but now whatever comes in against Vig is going to be struggling to uh, catch up energy wise. Fletch Fender. OK. Seems pretty good against Skarmory so far. Oh, but you do have to shield that because I'm just going to run through you now. <laughs> that's the second time that's uh, happened and they didn't shield the. Uh, they didn't shield the uh, what's it called? The body slam. I'm like, uh, you got to shield the body slam. All right. I feel like they're telling me something here. Okay, well, we shield this because they are dead. They won't get a second move. And protecting this tells me their backmon does not want to see Vig. There's no way their backmon wants to see Vig, so what is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We like that. Oop. And then we'll just let the Skarmory do the job. GG's. What should Marsh run for jungle? Um, So we talked about this a bunch yesterday. This is deja vu. In the, I know every Fletch Ender just doesn't shield. Um, I think you could get away with Surf and Sludge. Because Surf and Mud Bomb are very, very comparable in like 90% and almost every matchup in this format. They do almost the same thing against basically everything, except Surf is just better DPE. And I think having Sludge to one-shot a Cottony is valuable. That's kind of where I'm at. Also, like, Sludge would be good against an Altaria, um, if you saw one. I just think Surf and Sludge is probably correct. That's what I would run if I were running the Marsh Stomp. And unfortunately, Marsh Stomp is just not a particularly good Mud Boy in this. It's just too flimsy. It's worse than Wooper. It's worse than Barboach. It's just not. It's like the fourth ranked Mud Boy. It's just it, if you have a Wooper or a Barboach, they would it would perform better. I think both of those mons outperform it, generally speaking. But I like Marsh Stomp and it's it's definitely deadly like it. it surf damage is real. I would rather fight with Skarmory. I would much rather fight a Wooper than a uh, than a Marsh Stomp, right? Much rather fight a Wooper, because Wooper does is hard has a hard time against you. All right, I still feel like our Q times are longer than our actual things. Barboach with water gun, yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly I, Barboach is, I believe, the best performing Mud Boy. Uh, and the Sims, but that doesn't mean it's the best necessarily. I just don't like water gun. I find water gun play patterns to be unsatisfactory, so I don't tend to run it. Skarm Onyx again. Okay. Well, we have multiple Onyx counters, so Krogunk. Well, the nice thing with Kro Ooh, what does it learn? You know what? What is it? Oh, it's Brick Break. Okay, well, Brick Break's terrible. The downside is that while it's terrible, it's still fast. 
and it's super effective here so like i might just die to a brick break and is in the realm of possible that we just die to a brick break although i think we're gonna probably we're probably gonna try and find out let's find out we do in fact die to brick break i'm gonna run the clock a little bit um i have to think there's a mud boy counter Hiding back there. Yeah, we found out for science. It kills us. <laughs> I don't know if it would have killed us from... Uh, yeah, brick break. Uh, but now I can just... We're going to just jam to the whooper. Like, we're, we're basically saying, please, please, God, let your team be bad against what we're doing. Um, This is not good against what we're doing. Scroopy is not it, bud. That said, I don't think I'm shielding this first move. Unfortunately, alignment an issue for us in this game. Like, we have a lot going for us, um, but alignment's been wrong the entire time for us. The sky attack from Skarmory will do very, very little to Onyx very 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 little I do think we shield this though I think we have to I really would like <laughs> I would really like this to KO no don't get it okay perfect We are on the old hope. What's the answer to Ducklet? Body slam. <laughs> Any of my mons with body slam. I don't like the Ducklet matchups. They're all pretty miserable for us. But uh, body slam usually gets the job done. I think Skarmory can finish it from here. So also Sand Tomb is not it, boss. Skarm is generally pretty good against it as well, but it's... It can be dicey. It can be a little dicey. Um, like a ducklet safe swap, especially if you need the Skarmory to handle their lead mon, is pretty is pretty obnoxious. Um, but generally speaking, what I've done against ducklets is just find a way to kill them. Just find a way to kill them. The team has plenty. The team has plenty of unresisted charge moves against ducklet. It's just you just have to find a way. Um, I like seeing it in the lead because Skarmory is our best matchup. And usually after their second bubble beam and I'm up a shield or two, I just switch and then I body slam spam them and I, I can get them dead. And then I'm like up a shield or two <laughs> and they're dead <laughs> and, and it, the game is easy to win from there. That's usually my ammo. All right, donkey Ness. Good luck, friend. A, a big pair up for us 26 76 that's a great lead for us though yowzas this is uh i mean i want them to just do this this is great we just farm this shit i think it's actually a farm i mean the aqua tail isn't nothing right aqua tail does damage but like we haven't uh oh chancy okay well we're definitely gonna get in here So we do have to shield the Psychic. I've played this out, and unfortunately, they will come out of this with some amount of shield advantage um, because we do have to shield Psychic. There's just not a world where we, like, we die if we don't. The upside is once the Psychic has, has been thrown, we should be able to farm them to the point at which we can come out with multiple body slams, right? What I have to make sure is that we actually kill this thing. Please no defense drop. Okay, perfect. I do want to come out with a move, so we're going to farm it. Perfect. What's coming back? 
It's groupy, fine. Chansey is extremely thick. But if you use it as a punching bag, like as an energy bag, basically, you can do quite a lot, right? That's kind of the nice thing about it is like, once you sort of know the matchups, you can you can do you can make a lot of hay so to speak all right so we get farmed a little bit here but we got their shield and they still can't really do anything to skarmory here so i'll have a charge move and a whooper and we'll be at shield parity so i'm feeling pretty good about our positioning here okay theirs is a mud boy which means that our whooper is basically golden from here on out. So we'll just go into this matchup with shield with shield advantage. We're a little bit behind on energy, but that's fine. I don't think there's any tricks up the sleeve. I think this is straight up a body slam contest and I'm up a shield. <laughs> also, you're going to get to see a lot of whoopers cute little uh, frown here. Because when whooper gets hit by the charge move, it frowns. <laughs> Oh, wait, what was that? Hold up. What did I just get hit by? What did I just get hit by? I wasn't even paying attention. That did way more damage. What was that? <laughs> I feel like I just got, uh, I just got got by something. I don't know what it was, though. Which if is cotton is scroopy, what is the safe swap? I would assume scroopy, Billy. I would assume scroopy. I, I think we I think we're still fine. Unless they have unless they have an aqua tail, in which case I think we just Okay, no, they don't. GG's. It's pretty sure they didn't. I, I feel like I, I got hit by something that hit way, way harder than uh than body slam. I wasn't paying attention because I just was like, eh, it's body slam, whatever. I know what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna talk to chat instead. Huh. But yeah, I would assume you safe swap Skaroopy. Um, your worst case scenario is you get blown out by um, a Skarmory, essentially, and then G-Fisk blanks it, so. And then Cottony also, you know, it works there. So I would assume you would safe swap Skaroopy. The team seems reliably good if you have this Mons. All right, let's go. Nice, Billy B. Well, especially if that stun fisk is a, is destined for um is destined for Great League, it's 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 an easy investment to justify. It is meta. I mean, that's very that's very 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 meta, Billy B. That team is extremely meta. But you know what? Like, hey, if 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 you enjoy playing it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Thanks for the follow five tier nutrition. Appreciate it. Thanks uh, all our new followers today. I do appreciate it. If, you have, if you're not following the stream, hit that follow button. You'll know when we're live. We stream basically every day of the week. So would love, love to see you. Superpower Badoof, where at? Where? Where? I want to see it. That would actually be really good here, wouldn't it? Did I save one of those? Hopefully I saved one of those. Hey, welcome back, Hoff. Wait, it was a body slam? Oh, yeah. Here's that ducklet, by the way. So we'll, we'll play this out as best we can. But we're gonna be we're gonna come out of this up a shield. Appreciated uh Joel Srolls. Thank you for the follow. Oh, they didn't shield. Wow. Okay. They could brave bird me from here, but it doesn't kill me. And then I win this fight. So they have to get okay, so Yeah, not great. Not great, right? They're up two counters here. So I think we just have to play this out as, as best we can. Which I think that's the way to do it. What's coming in? I have a ton of energy. They did not get their second body slam off. Okay, we'll throw one here. Let's see if they want to start shielding. Okay. 
I'll throw a second body slam at him. Let's get both their shields here. Okay, well, they, that's a wasted shield for them. We like that. Ah, there's a swine up in the back. I understand now. Okay, so we come in with our, our, our little feller here. This is going to be an icy wind, right? I'm not going to shield the icy wind. We'll throw this switch and then throw this one with the uh, cleared debuff. Not that that mattered. <laughs> that was more so that's one of those sequences that I, I did because I want to practice that sequence a little bit, right? We probably should have just switched right away as soon as we had the two, but or I probably didn't need to do that at all, but I just like, I don't know. The repetition is good. The repetition is good. Expert push. Uh, well, unfortunately, we're going to we're going to make some some waves towards expert because I'm going to be in the mid 2600s after this. But this is my last set of the day because the sets go very fast. We've been live for two hours and 11 minutes. Usually by this point, I'm like two sets in. But I'm not going to be able to get the expert on the back of today's battles. Not possible. Not possible, unfortunately. Even with the even with the five and zero here, which we are playing for. Ranks are made up. I mean, yeah, Hoff. We've talked about this. We agree. The royal we agrees. Roger Chen. They hit expert. We've been paired up a lot in this set, though. So these are good wins for us. Skarmory, Cottony, yes, finally, finally a lead we like. All right, so this is an awkward switch in for them, or for me, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this, I'm going to get the shield, and then we're going to power through this thing with our Vig, which is probably going to cost me more shields than... Uh, I got from them because I think they're gonna get two body slams here Which is fine But we're gonna come out the other side with a bunch of body slams and we should be able to get our shield back from cottony uh, Or the cottony will just die and then whatever right But we definitely want to get to both of our shield or both of our body slams here and we actually might come up short they didn't get the charm through, so this might work out for us still. Um, but we might come up one short. If we come up one short, this starts to get a little awkward. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I, my switch timer's not up. My switch timer's not up. Oh. All right, well, I should have. I, I was. I got sloppy there. I got sloppy there. Unfortunately, a flying press from this thing also claps us. So I got a little sloppy and uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get punished here. Because flying press is still very strong. And we can't quite farm it, right? Like Yeah, I'll throw this because I can, but it's alright. It happens. It's a little bit of a tough break for us, and I I just got sloppy with switch timer. I just got sloppy with switch timer. Yeah, it is what it is. GG's. We also def desperately needed to... Um, we needed... To get that second body... I, I said it. We need to get. You always need to get two body slams against Cottony. You need to get two body slams against Cottony. Otherwise, they just no-shield the first one and you can't... Hey, there's our first as elf of the day. Our first Dizelf of the day. Fun, I guess. Um, they don't have to shield one. They have to shield the second one. But shielding the first one is... Uh, so you always, always, always need that second one. In hindsight, maybe we should have just stayed in Skarmory versus... Um, Skarmory versus Vigoroth. 
I mean, we didn't know they had a, a, a Pika Libra in the back, so it, hindsight's twenty twenty in that case.